Hi guys, today I have in equation like that. So this equation, I think you have some solution for solving. Maybe you have your own. I have my own. So I I am enjoy with any solution when I found them. But you can enjoy by your own. But today I have to show you my solution. Yeah. Okay. First, I will let. T equal sin x. Now, so I substitute here. So I have new equation t square plus zero. Yeah. So now I I get the e power t square on its own left hand side, and all of them I move to right hand side, and I got the equation e t square equal 1 take away d t square that new equation so if i want phi t i have to sort out this equation my way i have to sketching two graph of two function left hand side and right hand side two graph of two function will be intersect at some point so in you on diagram and should you know the value of t you have to find now sketching I will sketching yeah graph of function y equal left hand side e t square i call one y equal one take with two square right hand side i call two now if one and two one two intersect us some boy and you should low T. Okay. So I sketching first. I sketching, sketching, sketching one first. So if you want sketching one, you you have to make the table showing you the equation, the function respect by T. And t will be from negative infinity to positive infinity. Okay, so when t equals zero, so y equal equal one. That's meaning that the function intercept y axis at one. Y axis at one. Okay, one. So you have to. Survey with two more points when easy for your sketching with t equal one and negative one. One and negative one. Oh. Okay. If one and negative one, y equal e. Yes, e here. Okay. Look when t become negative infinity, you substitute here. Y become positive infinity. Same. When positive infinity you subtract here, y become positive infinity. So the graph will be go like that. Yeah, easy now. You you know the point here that minimum point. So you got the diagram showing the graph y t y but t because you sketching follow t the one negative one and one okay now you know e nearly equal to y seven so you can write two here and three here and that one maybe e here okay when t equal one y equal e when t equal negative one e as well 
y e as well so from positive no part to this point and come this point and go up this point and go up positive infinity so y e qua e t square that graph of e t square this graph of equation one so you want you want sketching that equation you have to make same the table showing you the function respect by t t from negative infinity and positive infinity as well okay so when t equals zero so this graph intercept at y axis uh, y axis at one one you write here okay so you'll see when t from negative infinity you substitute here y become negative infinity here when t equal positive infinity you substitute here so you see y become negative infinity That is all, yeah. That is t equal to zero. So I accept I said one. So you survey with two more, more two uh, point more at one and negative one. When t equal one, you substitute here. So y equal to zero. Negative, you substitute here. There's all around. Well. So you see graph graph of this function go like that. Okay. So you got two point. Zero and zero when t equal one and negative one, y equal zero. This boy, this boy, and maximum boy y here when t equal zero, so y equal one. Now uh, come down negative infinity, come down negative infinity. That y equal one take with t square, is it? So you see the diagram showing you two graphs intercepts at only point when t equal zero and y equal one yeah so the function uh, the the equation the equation that's meaning the equation that have only value of t t equal zero okay when t equal zero so you what you got the sin x sin x equal zero as well so you look at the circle about sins and x and cos cos c okay so at here x equal zero so sin x equal zero so if that turn by 100 degree yeah 100 uh, 180 degree come here sin x equal zero as well turn one one more 180 degree become here one zero as well one more three zero one more three zero so x will be equal k three yeah k is integer number integer yeah so that's final answer. When k equal zero, x equal zero, so sin equal zero. When k equal one, so free, x equal free, so sin equal zero. When k equal two, here, come back here, zero. Free, come back here, zero. So that's right. Yeah. So that's final answer. Okay. Thank you for watching. Hope you understand. Thank you for watching. watching. Don't forget. Subscribe like and comment thank you very much